Um, we're with the League for the Revolutionary Party. We're uh, okay. um, cool. Trotsky's group based mostly here in New York City and in Chicago. Okay. Right. And what are you, uh, are you guys organizing? Or? I mean, right now our main focus is um, in the New York City Transit Union. Like everybody knows that in 2005 they went on strike. Yeah. And we did play a role that year and the years before pushing for strike motion oh, as okay. opposed to, you know, pleading with the... Um, two main parties of uh, the government for um, reforms. We said what was needed was a mass fight back to you know, win our demands. And in that union, we've been pretty much unique in that union and in the United States for not just going in there and saying, you know, well, we need a left perspective. We go in and we say, clearly and truly, we need a revolutionary perspective. Nice. Some people say, you know, that might scare some people off, but we yeah. say, you know, we're not going to lie to people about our views and you know if they don't agree with us we'll stay with their them and fight with them and go through the experience to show them that our views are worth well you know considering because it produces certain results so uh -huh. as of right now we're actually running candidates in that union oh. for different posts and you know this is what our um, leaflet revolutionary transit worker is oh, okay. putting forward and these are our three comrades we're running comrades oh. who you know won respect of their um, their co-workers because they fought so hard in the various struggles in the transit strike you know they fight when the bosses crack down uh -huh. on the working class and that's a general perspective we put forward of the need for the united working class fight back and that working class fight back can't go anywhere unless it champions the demands of oppressed people fighting against racism in its most present forms like you know police brutality yeah. and other things fighting for immigrant rights and you know abortion on demand for women mm -hmm. because that's a crucial perspective and the big intersection of all that we think it's when you know like working class people of color and working class women come together mm -hmm. and you know we do hearken back to the Russian Revolution which was kicked off by women workers taken yeah. to the streets yeah. so you know, that's the tradition we stand in yes. and we're basically trying to win people over to our perspective and build a revolutionary party. We don't consider ourselves that party that at this moment. That's why we call ourselves a league, but we mm -hmm. believe that's what's, that's what's necessary for the leadership of any struggle. You can take, you know, the immigrant rights struggle or the mm -hmm. anti-war struggle, and, you know, it's not something that, you know, it's a long, not necessarily a long-term perspective that these movements won't go anywhere if they don't have revolutionary leadership. You can look today and see how split the movement is, that there's like two different demonstrations going on on the same day yeah. by different groups. And, you know, the really thing, the only thing that they're united on is the degree to which they capitulate to the Democratic Party yeah. to hamstring our struggles. Like, you know, like even socialist groups got together and said before the before Barack Obama's election that we won't have an anti-war demonstration because we think it will distract too much. Yeah. So, you know, we're, we're putting forward the other perspective that, you know, for us, if you're, if you're going to win change, it has to be against the Obama administration, yeah. against the Republicans. We don't see the Republicans as some kind of evil that is qualitatively worse. Yeah. So, you know, we try to put up forward the perspective that the problem is a problem of class, really. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we think if, if you... That's what underlies everything. If you look at that, you'll come forward to the solutions. It's a bit more complicated sure, than that, sure. obviously, yeah. but that's the beginnings of things. And are you uh, actively working within other unions? I mean, we, have, is com we have comrades in other unions. And uh -huh. I'm, uh, I'm a worker in a union, but I'm still on probation, so I'm not going to say where. Okay, um, that's and, fine. You know, but we're slowly trying to build up a presence. We used to have a presence in the um, SEIU 1199 mm -hmm. um, Hospital Workers Union. Okay. And you know, like one of our comrades who's here, he's in SSE, SS, EIU, um, SEIU 32BJ, the building trades workers. Okay. So you know, wherever we are, we, yeah. you know, my comrade here goes to the new school. So you know, oh. wherever we are, we involve ourselves. Were you part of the occupation? Um, I was supporting the occupation from outside. Nice, yeah. nice. We did put out a statement defending the people who, you know, yeah. went forward on the occupation. Yeah, and a few comrades that so. got picked up in that. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's great. Um, yeah, I'm a union carpenter, so oh. do you have any comrades in the, the UBC? Do you, no, you know? nobody in the carpenters oh. union, but you know, okay. that, that is an interesting area of struggle. Yeah.